Hey everyone, I'm Adam Singh Dhakar, an aerospace engineering <coughs> major at NTU Singapore. I have been studying aerospace engineering with a minor in applied physics, and I'm broadly focusing on research and fluid dynamics, which has been my passion for very long. I started my rigorous academic journey in 11th and 12th under the guidance of uh, Pankaj sir, uh, Arun sir and Nitin sir. They were immensely helpful uh, in shaping me up as an individual, not just within the classroom but outside it. They guided me very closely through my two years of preparation for JE, Mains and Advanced Sports. I ended up securing a rank of 8,000 in Mains and 16,000 something in the 16,000s in Advanced as well as 331 in Bits, Bits, the Bitsat exam. What appealed to me the most when studying with them was how they promoted abstract thinking. They would never ask us to stick to a certain way of you know solving problems or approaching problems. They would encourage us to go above and beyond, think deeply, critically on how to solve every problem and understand the final concepts rather than understanding how to solve a problem, which I think has helped me quite a bit even you know as I have come to my undergraduate school and towards the end of my undergrad life. As far as Singapore is concerned, I was very clear that I wanted to pursue aerospace engineering as my major, hence I applied to NTU. Singapore has primarily two very very good universities, NTU and NUS. Uh, both are ranked within the top 10 of the world in terms of engineering and top 20 in terms of uh, overall rankings. The journey to and in Singapore has been very very insightful and enriching. I have learned a lot. If you want to apply to Singapore and study at any of these two universities, what they ideally look for is a very holistic background. They'll take a look at your academic records, they'll take a look at your extracurricular records, and they try to paint the full picture of you as a person and then decide if you are good enough for them. Coming to NTU and my undergrad life, I have learned a lot. There's a very strong focus on uh, exploring what you're studying, not just staying within the lecture theatre, but going to the lab, working. There's a very, very strong emphasis on practical applications of what you're learning, which is something slightly different from the Indian context, based on whatever conversations I've had with my friends here and juniors here. The universities try to push you towards research. They try to tell you that, hey, look, this is a topic and you don't need to stick to certain guidelines when you're studying it. You go explore by yourself, come back, ask us questions, try to shape your own narrative about what you're studying. So it's a very holistic, a very nice lifestyle, a good mix of, you know, partying, playing sports, also studying, research. The facilities are really good, the laboratories are world class, the professors are also very, very helpful, which is something actually quite similar to my time back with Pankatsar and company, they would always be avail available 24-7 and it's been the same case now that I've come to college. In terms of opportunities, they are really good both from an industrial perspective and from an academic perspective. If you are passionate about, say, in my case for dynamics, you have all the opportunities you need to study the su subject in depth, take up projects. At the same time, if you want to work in a company or industry, that way also the world's pretty much open for you. There are a lot of opportunities you can apply to, companies you can work at. So it's a fairly decent, a very good alternative to pursuing your undergrad school in India. My advice for students who are preparing for competitive exams uh, in 11th and 12th in fact, even towards the end of 10th, those who are giving NTSC. There are certain key points which I realized either on the way while giving the exams or later when I had given the exam. One, above anything else, is perseverance. I think no matter how quote-unquote smart you are, quote-unquote how well you understand the subjects, you have to be very persevering. No two tests are going to be the same. Your performances are sometimes going to dip, sometimes they're going to be really, really good. It's up to you 
to treat them all the same and keep working hard keep persevering through any and every kind of result secondly i will although i'm pretty sure uh, nitin and pankaj sir themselves teach it very well understanding of concepts is what's more important than trying to get the right answer if you focus on trying to understand what's given in a textbook or what is being taught in your lectures you're going to end up learning much more and then you will be well equipped to solve any sort of problem which comes your way so yes i'll encourage everyone to try understanding the fundamental concepts and then going on and solving problems another thing which uh, is closely linked with perseverance is patience and an attitude of never giving up please 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 make sure that in these two or three years of preparation you never get bogged down by anything i have seen a lot of cases in fact even in my case i think i was kind of discouraged after my mains and hence there was a slight dip in my result in je advance so what i encourage everyone is keep going never stop keep working hard day in day out and make sure that no doubts persist when you're preparing like it's very important when you are studying a subject say pnc in mathematics if you have a doubt make sure it's cleared as soon as possible it doesn't stick with you for a while or it becomes a larger problem so yes patience perseverance understanding of concepts creativity is very important in solving problems and i think that is what j advance tests you the most in one very important factor which uh, is needed in preparation for any competitive exam is do not take pressure this is not the be all and end all one examination and the results will not define who you are as a person so make sure that you don't let it get to you take it as a game it's an exam a few questions which you have to solve based on what you learn treat it like that not as something which is going to define you as an individual and a future there is a life beyond iits and in iits cracking or not cracking the advance won't determine your success in the future so keep that in mind do not take any sort of pressure also maintain a very healthy holistic balance between your academic life and your life beyond the books even when you are preparing obviously there will be much less time to spend with your family and friends but do make sure you are spending some time away from your modules and uh, the packages given to you by your teachers so yeah in a broader picture my message will be be patient be persevering never give up and don't let the pressure get to you treat it like any other exam and i'm sure you guys are doing well